honestly, I don't, uh, I don't have a clear cut answer. I'm, I'm eternally optimistic. So I'm trying to, you know, I think right, I think right now, you know, I, I think things are going to return to normal for quite a while. Um, I think that's kind of obvious, uh, at least the normal we're used to. Um, you know, I think what we can all do right now from a restaurant standpoint is just try to be creative while making sure that we're keeping our staff and the customers safe. Um, and, you know, work towards making people feel comfortable again. Um, I know we're taking this obviously extremely seriously in our own kitchen with sanitizing more than, and you know, we're, we're clean chefs to begin with, or I'd like to think so. So, you know, um, we're, we're being extra diligent. Um, I've got my mask right here. Uh, you know, we're swapping out gloves or sanitizing the gloves we're wearing as often as every 15 minutes. Fine dining um, or a restaurant night out is a very special thing instead of an everyday occurrence. Um, a lot more uh, fast casual carryouts um, of that nature and uh, probably more people cooking at home. Um, and in terms of employees and, and farming and things like that, um, I see a rise, and I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I see a rise in robotics. Um, I feel like people will, you know, big industries, meat companies, things like that will start to move towards that as a viable way of produ producing um, what they need. It, it, it can be a little bit inconsistent and to a certain degree, it's sort of like no one really knows. So all of the information that we get is sort of like stay inside. Uh, it's not, we can't kill it. We can't fix it. There's no real cure. Um, I think for us, our biggest priority is making sure that our team is safe and our team can continue to operate and be sustained and get um, be able to collect income to support their families. The norm of just basic things like like washing hands and sanitizing hands and less and less you know crowded dining rooms um, will initially you know i'm not sure for how long we'll just be part of the norm um you know social distancing has proven to be so you know incredibly effective and so we're figuring out exactly how we can operate a business but also you know do all the things to protect our guests and to protect protect our employees if if the model that we had before was a certain percentage of people coming in and and you know sitting sit down diners we're going to have i think a, a much larger percentage of people carrying out and getting food delivered um so it just kind of changes the dynamic of a of a restaurant and and a kitchen of how how they operate